today we're going to be doing some rot repair. And it helps to have the right tools. Today we'll be showing you some tools that, uh, that are going to be working on, on this particular vehicle with rot. Uh, compressor is imperative for doing work like this. Um, but again, same steps you're going to see today we could do on any other vehicle that has the same kind of rot. Uh, what the customer has done is he actually purchased replacement panels to put on the vehicle, which helps. There are two kind of panels you could buy. There is a cover panel, which actually just kind of is like a band-aid that goes over the, over the rot. Looks good for a while, but what it's doing is covering the bad cancer, basically. And what that allows you allows to happen is the cancer just keeps growing behind that, that panel. So to do it right, you're going to remove the, uh, the original panel and put basically an original panel back in there. So just like if you have cancer, uh, cancer cells in a body, you're going to remove all the cancer cells and some of the good metal uh, around it. Uh, just like what we're doing here with, 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 with rot, basically, which is like cancer. We're going to remove all, all that bad rot and some of the good metal um, around that area. All right? So the first thing we're going to be doing is removing the door. All I'm going to do to make it easier to pull the door off is going to be using a jack. Uh, it helps to have two people. My helpers are actually filming this, so what we're going to try to do it with just one person. Now, make life easier, I'm using an air ratchet. Take all the bottom bolts off first before you take off any of the top ones. It always helps to have two people when you're doing this. So all the bolts are now removed from the hinges and the door is now free to come off. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> all right, so again, supporting the door. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull the door away from the, the, the jam so that the door don't hit the fender and slowly lower the door on the jack. Look at that, by himself. Okay. Is it heavy? Oh, it's very light. If you don't have a hernia, you may have to enter this. Again, getting back to safety, we're going to be doing welding and sparks, uh, when we're grinding. So it would be a good thing to remove the gas tank. In this vehicle here, the gas tank was installed in the, in the, in the rear section. What the, what the customer has done is he actually, he actually rigged up a, um, a little homemade gas tank, basically. Because uh, all you need is, a, is gas in a container. This is the rear, rear cap corner area, replacing that. Now usually when you buy these pieces, they're going to be a lot larger than um, the actual rot area. Um, on a particular vehicle, we're not going to use this whole entire piece. So we'll be trimming this down to fit that particular area. Okay? One thing you don't want to do is cut, cut the piece before you cut the rot. Always cut the rust out first on the vehicle. This way you know just how much to cut off on your actual panel. Majority of these panels are actually going to match the factory contours. Again, there's two types you can buy. There's a cover or cover lay, which is what you really don't want. And there's the actual factory uh, dimension piece that'll fit where the factory did. The previous customer bought the cover lay, uh, which we'll be removing that also. Cutoff tool. Pneumatic all runs by ear. Uh, what you have here, you have a uh, expendable blade here, which spins at a very high RPM. These blades can be changed. Um, there are actually two types of blades. There's a thin one and a little thicker one. The thicker one is actually used to grind down the weld after you weld it. This one here is going to be used for cutting. This is going to be used to cut the rod away and also be used to cut some of the panel away that we're putting as brand new. Okay? Again, safety very, very important. Very, uh, very high spinning tool, sparks, metal flying around. So eye safety is very, very important. So what we're going to be using is a face shield. Now it helps to have a nice clean face shield, but we don't have that benefit today to use a clean face shield. We use a face shield. You also want to use a type of um, leather preferable um, gloves. If you use the heavy leather gloves, there's sometimes a problem with handling the tool, so I use these mechanic gloves right here. Also with the sparks, you want to have a fire extinguisher. Um, we have a mini extinguisher here, uh, which works very well. All right, now what you see here is, again, we have the rot that's inside the floor area. And what the previous customer has done, if you can see here, is he actually put a patch in before. Okay? So there's a patch put in over here, and this piece here is actually a cover lay. 
Okay, in other words, they've had rock on the original rocker panel. What they did is they actually bought a cover panel and had it installed over this. Now, with the rust, you want to figure out how far the rod has gone. Okay, so you look up top and we look on bottom. Okay, and the bottom is actually usually on the outside when you see rust, it's usually larger behind it. Okay, so let's say if we had a little rust hole like that there, behind this, the rot spreads out, okay? So it actually could be rusty around an area like that, okay? That's why, just like with cancer, like I said earlier, you wanna cut out the bad cancer and the bad rot, and also go beyond that area okay, when you cut it out. And with this here, it's very easy to see, because we can see underneath it to see how bad that rot is, okay? So I'll begin, I'll be, be cutting, again, this metal is good here. So a patch, a patch piece extends way beyond this. A patch piece goes around up here, which we don't need all that, okay? So we're gonna be cutting somewhere around there. All right, again, what we're using here is a, use a fan. Again, the fan is basically to cool me down, but also to get the dust out, out of the way, all right? So what I'm doing, I, I, I cut the top, some of it, not all of it. You always want to kind of check your progress as you're going. Just don't go in there and start cutting away um, like a maniac. Uh, cut, look at it, cut some more, look at it. Because you want to make sure you're cutting the right metal, you're not cutting into a brace, which we have here. Um, make sure there's no wires under there. Make sure you're not cutting any fuel lines, which wouldn't be a good day for you when that happens. And the progress is looking pretty good so far. Keyword so far. All right, what we have now is uh, the rot kind of being removed, and again, you can always check your progress. Now, it's a brace that runs under the floor brace that runs under the floor, and basically, it comes up lays out like an L shape and the floor is well to the top of that so it takes a little bit of persuading to get that metal off there mostly all vehicles including ones built today are put together using actually spot welds which is a basically a large robot with two electrodes and that come down squeeze the metal and cause an arc to go through and actually fuses the top metal and bottom metal together it's called spot weld smaller in size and powerful. Change the tips on these air hammers here. This is actually a cutting tip. Chisel, chisel tip I've been using. And they sell a lot of different tips. So there's a spot in here that's kind of hard to get out with the cutting wheel. So we're gonna go ahead and try to use the uh, air hammer. Tip. You think we could sell that on eBay? 